What's this? Welcome to another episode of Air Gun Detectives. I'm your host, JC, and today we're going to take the mystery out of the German made Beeman R7. Before we get started here, a couple things. Number one, I want to take a moment and just uh, remind everybody um, for thoughts and prayers to the 13 fallen, those heroes. In addition to that, uh, we got 9 11 coming up tomorrow. So just keep all those heroes and their families. Uh, Kind of in your prayers and your thoughts. It's, it's important never to forget the sacrifices that these individuals made for all of us. Okay, now, if you hadn't, do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button down there. It's absolutely free. It doesn't cost you anything, uh, but it really does help support the channel. Also, don't forget to check out my website at www.airgundetectives.com. On that website, you'll see that I have the t-shirts and the hats and my Generation 2 bipods. And occasionally, I'm also putting some of my, uh, my personal air gun inventory up there. I have to make some room for some new stuff here and there, so keep an eye on that. All right, let's get back to the uh, Beeman R7 here. This is absolutely one gorgeous brake barrel rifle. And I have to thank Mike Millick. He actually sent me this rifle as a gift to my lovely wife. This is actually her rifle. And that's kind of what the R7 is designed for. It's designed for the individuals that don't want as difficult of a cocking effort. It also, the whole rifle is only 38 and a half inches long. And it's got um, a much shorter length of pull. This is like 13 and 3 quarters length of pull here. So it's perfectly designed for the, uh, the ladies and the uh, smaller shooters. Um, let's talk about it. It's a spring piston brake barrel. As I said earlier, it's German made. It's uh, designed for basically target shooting, field target, um, maybe small pest control, things like that. It shoots up to about 700 feet per second. The overall gun weighs six pounds. It's got a 15 and a half inch barrel. And it does come with fully adjustable sights. In fact, it comes with the globe, it comes with this globe front sight right here. And with that, you can put the different uh, aperture inserts in it. So if you want to change the different design, you can do that. But it's a uh, pretty neat rifle. Uh, it has the 11 millimeter dovetail. It does not come with a sp scope. This is an aftermarket scope obviously that I put on that. But it does come with a world famous record trigger and they are one of my favorite triggers. Uh, the gun retails for about $400. If you happen to get it from Mike at Flying Dragon Air Guns, he includes a free tune with that, a full tune, which is pretty amazing. I'll leave a link below for uh, Flying Dragon Air Rifles and uh, Mike Millett. So anyway, this is a pretty awesome rifle, but it's like everything else, let's take a closer look at it. You know, I didn't mention the finish on this. It's a stained beechwood stock, and it is incredible. It really is. You guys can see that. So let's take it through our usual gamut. Uh, we'll run it through all our tests, and then we'll come back and talk about it. So stay tuned for the next segment. All right, let's try our Beeman R7 for a little velocity test here. Like I said, this was fully tuned by Mike Millick, and thanks to Mike, we have this to show you. Um, we're going to go ahead and shoot just some basic, uh, the Diablos, the seven grain pellets, and see how well it does. And then I'll give you stats on the Crossman Premieres, everybody wants to know how those do. And then some other pellets that did well on these. And I'll, I'll, I'll show you the stats on those as soon as we're done. But what we'll do is we'll shoot five shots across the chrono, and then uh, we'll average that out, see how we do. The cocking effort on this thing, seriously, is just nothing. It's, it's under 15 pounds. That's why I said this is really designed for the ladies and uh, the younger ones that don't want the heavier cocking effort or the heavier recoil. Anyway, let's see how we do here. All right, 651. And shot number two. 638. Shot number three. I don't have many shots through this at all. I have honestly less than probably 20 shots through this. 643. Do two more. All right, number four here. 655. And one more. Six 
637. Yeah, this will smooth out. The standard deviation will come down the more you shoot it. That piston seal has to take a little bit of time to seat in the chamber there. But anyway, there's our average velocity with the uh, seven grain pellets. And let's go ahead and uh, talk about real quick the premier hollow points. They're 7.9 grain. And what we averaged that was 604 feet per second and roughly, again, six and a half foot pounds of energy. And then the match lights, these are the H&N, these are kind of like a wad cutter. These are 7.87 uh, grain, basically 7.9. Anyway, those did well, 608 feet per second and roughly six and a half foot pounds of energy as well with those. But those all uh, shoot quite well. This rifle is not pellet picky. You can pretty much put anything you want in it and you'll be amazed at the results on it. All right, I got something special coming up for you next, so stay tuned for the next segment. Okay, so I promised you guys something special. So guess what? This is Lucy, AKA my other half. This is the other half of air gun detectives. Anyway, this is her rifle. <laughs> this is her rifle. So it's only appropriate that she does the accuracy test. And we are gonna use the splatter burst targets. We're gonna use the four inch ones again today. I wanna to thank splatter burst for supplying these with us and I'll leave a link down below for them. But yeah, anyway, they show definitely the, uh, the impacts really clear from a distance, especially with my eyes, it's always a good thing. So anyway, you know you know how to thank these guys. <laughs> All right, so Lucy's gonna shoot five shots. We're our usual uh, 20 yards back, but before I show you that, she's gonna use some uh, Meisterkuglin pellets. You like these? Yeah, can you they're, say, they're awesome. Can yeah. you say Meisterkuglin? Meisterkuglin. Yeah, she can, <laughs> she can say I that. Can. Okay, so she's gonna use uh, the Meisterkuglins. She's gonna shoot five shots. I'm just gonna leave you with her and you guys can uh, see how well she does. All right, don't forget your glasses. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Wait, I forgot to show you guys. I forgot to show you guys the distance. Go ahead and check this out. This is the uh, 20 yards that we always shoot at. All right, now, good luck, Lucy. Oh, thank you. Shot three. Just so you know, I'm laughing because he's holding up a sign to say safety because I always forget the safety. <laughs> He didn't want me to be embarrassed. <laughs> Shot five. Not too bad. See, I told you. She's a better shot than I am in. Yeah, see, here's my sign. Because <laughs> she forgets to take the safety out. But we all do that. I do that all the time. But anyway, what? What a group. You're a pretty yeah. doggone good shot. Thank you. Yes, definitely. All right, let's move on to the next segment. And guess what? I think we're going to have her do the plinking too since she's doing such a good job with this. All right, stay tuned for the next segment. All right, let's test our Beeman R7, the trigger, for some pull weight. I left it just the way it is, came out of the box, but these are those record triggers where are just, they're incredible. 
So let's just see where this one's breaking out of the box here. All right, got our trusty Lyman trigger gauge. One pound, 7.2 ounces. That's one pound, 7.2 ounces. So out of the box is breaking under two pounds. Pretty incredible. All right, let's move on to the next segment. My favorite portion of every review. Mine too. Hers too, is the plinking. But here's the funny thing. So I put a couple little objects up there um, to go ahead and for her to shoot at. They were too easy. So I had to dig around and find the smallest possible <laughs> objects that I could so we can give it a little bit of challenge here. So anyway, we got five, five little targets up there. She's going to shoot the same Meister Kuglin pellets. What do you think? Let's do it. Okay. All right. Once again, Lucy. <laughs> Got it. That was a hard one. And the last one. Safety. And that's it. See, I told you. She just doesn't miss. <laughs> I need lessons from her. She's an incredible shot. All right, stay tuned for the next segment. All right, let's wrap this up with our conclusion. All I have to say is simply awesome. The performance on this rifle is incredible. So let's thank Lucy for her participation in this. By the way, that's just the nickname I gave her, Lucy. You know, after like Lucille Ball and the I Love Lucy show, how Lucy would kind of do some cute little things and klutzy things and what have you. That is my wife. So her nickname is Lucy, but her real name is Suzanne, just so you guys know. But can she shoot or what? Oh my God. She makes, seriously, she puts, I mean, look what she did. She put five shots through the same hole. I mean, honestly, as far as accuracy goes, that's zero center to center because every pellet went through the exact same hole. Honestly, I've never done that with a brake barrel. So she's really making me look bad. Not to mention she's much better to look at than me. That's for sure. She really is. But hopefully maybe we can get her to uh, be a guest uh, hopefully in the future because I'm sure you guys would rather look at her than me. Anyway, let's talk about the R7. Terrific rifle. Oh my God. German made. The cocking effort, only 15 pounds. So you're not giving up any accuracy 
as um, Lucy showed there. You're not giving up any accuracy whatsoever. So you're getting high performance out of this, but you're getting a rifle that's very manageable. And it's perfect for the ladies and the younger ones because it's, it's a shorter rifle. It's actually, um, this is I think about five inches shorter than the actual, like the R9s. But what a neat rifle, it really is. And it's quiet too, it's totally backyard friendly. Yeah. But again, the record trigger on this really makes it a just a sweet package the overall. So the finish on it, the blued finish is fantastic, and even the beechwood stock is, is incredible. You're getting a lot of rifle. And I think I told you guys, if you happen to uh, purchase one of these from Mike, or any of the, the Beemans or what have you, he has all those, um, he'll include a full tune with it. It's really, which is pretty awesome. So there's no negatives on it. So let me just flat out tell you, this is a five-star rifle all the way, without a doubt. And they're just an absolute pleasure to shoot. And again, I'm gonna emphasize just the effort to be able to cock it with 15 pounds. It's just nothing and then get this type of performance. So it's pretty awesome. So anyway, hey, I'm glad you guys tuned in. I want to remind you guys once again, you got 9-11 coming up tomorrow. So let's, uh, let's remember our 13 and then all our 9-11 heroes, all the sacrifices they made and their families. So keep them in your prayers. All right, with that, don't forget, this is where we take the mystery out of the air gun. Until next time, be safe and have a lot of shooting. God bless.